Hey Scorpio, what's up? I hope you guys are all well. So welcome to your general love reading for September 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Scorpio. And it is general, so it's not going to be for everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. And do keep in mind that the roles in this reading can be reversed because it's general. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what is going on for you in September 2022. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in a love connection. All right, for the situation, we have the Eight of Pentacles crossed by the Five of Wands. All right, um, it does feel like there's effort that is being put in here to some extent, but then there's some like external conflict coming in to like just sabotage everything. Um, I feel like there's some drama that is playing out. You may or you may not be aware of this, um, but I feel like it's just really messing up somebody's focus or what somebody is trying to do here, whatever effort it is that they have been putting in or working towards. Uh, let's see, for you, we have the Knight of Wands, the Chariot, and the High Priestess. All right. Um, I feel like, you know, things, for you at least, on your end, things were just moving very, very fast, possibly. Or maybe, you know, you, th there's either some excitement here, um, but... Maybe it even felt like it was too good to be true because it just feels like it's so fast. Um, but it feels like it wasn't stable. So that's like the energy that you're coming from. And I see you moving oh, towards either like slowing that down or like turning more inwards towards your own self. But whatever this is, it's like you're gaining more um, awareness, you're gaining more clarity. I feel like there's something in this situation that is forcing you to um, come up more, become more aligned with your intuition and with your inner self. All right, that is strange. Scorpio, let's, let's move on. Let's see the energy for your person. We have a Judgment, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, um, wow. I feel like your person um, is coming out of some kind of a crisis here. Something that, something big is happening in their lives or something big has happened. It may or may not involve you. It might be something separate and I'm only saying that because of that five of wands um, that's there. But whatever that event is, it is something that is possibly pushing them towards having to make a decision. Um, a big decision here or some kind of a discernment, especially considering concerning the path that they want to take. Now, I do see them um, moving towards taking this new path and moving towards something that is um, more stable towards you, even wanting commitment here. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the five of cups. Okay, so somebody is not feeling too good here um possibly a little bit still stuck on the past or maybe even just grieving something from the past it's not necessarily bad um depending like it doesn't necessarily mean something negative for the connection between the two of you but i do see somebody here um mourning the past or grieving some kind of a loss and it doesn't necessarily have to be um, a loss between the two of you but we'll see let's clarify okay for the Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Oh, I do have the Queen of... Oh, okay. All right, so we have the Queen of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Devil. Yeah, there's something toxic that is happening here in this um, situation. I actually get that whoever is the masculine in this dynamic, there's a lot of love um, that they have for the feminine. But I do see the feminine being a little bit um, standing, standing her ground 
his or her ground here. Almost like you've put your your foot down if that's you, and I do feel like that would that would be you the way that these are playing out here. Because there's a very toxic situation and it's like, yeah, you know, the love is there and I feel like you know the love is there and you know that, you know, there's this potential or that this person has been working towards um, something here, possibly towards commitment from the looks of it here. Um, but there's, there's conflict. It's like there's something that is playing out here that is just messing with this, that is just... Um, and really, like, it doesn't matter what other people do. Like, we are all responsible for for our decisions and for how we handle situations, right? So I'm not excusing them, I'm just saying there's, it feels like there's some external influence here that is happening and I don't know what that is. Um, so yeah, let's see. Oh, some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn, by the way. We also have Cancer showing up here. All right, let's see, Knight of Wands in your energy. What is this about? We have the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, also showing up here for you. Um, okay, I feel like you know, you're know you coming from a place where things seemed to be moving towards this commitment or there was a commitment, um, but there's some kind of either a deception here or, um, Almost like your enthusiasm for this commitment was like taken away. Like it just wasn't, it wasn't what it seemed at the time. Let's see the chariot. Oh, judgment for you as well. And the king of wands. Yeah, I feel like you quickly made a decision to just really stand up for your own self, to um, just take control of your own life here, basically. Um, maybe something happened or maybe something is happening that is like a major wake-up call, which is, I feel like it's pushing you in the other direction, like where you seemed to be enthusiastic. Yeah, it's like you're moving from having been very enthusiastic and possibly also very like not exactly naive, but like, you know, just really believing, you know, and feeling like, yeah, you know, this commitment here, it's here. Um, and then that didn't happen. And it's like, it's like this wake up call or like, um, just seeing things differently here, having this, this major clarity, which is also represented by that queen of swords here. And you're just like, nope. So I feel like you're changing, this is this is you changing directions almost in some way. Let me see the High Priestess. The Nine of Pentacles and Temperance. Okay, Sagittarius. Some of you might be dealing with the Sagittarius um, or you might have Sagittarius in your charts. Yeah, this is definitely you, like I said, like just aligning more with your higher purpose, with your inner self, with your intuition. I do see you moving away from this connection a little bit, like just being, feeling more independent, feeling more self-reliant. Um, like I said, putting your foot down and just, you know, really finding that balance from within your own self. Um, because I feel like, you know, you came from some kind of an energy that's like a little bit, like I said, it's just, to me, it feels like a little bit naive, like just very enthusiastic, but before, before things had actually played out, you were feeling that way, right? So, and then it's like, now you're just so much wiser and, um, you're like, okay, you know, um, don't get overly enthusiastic when something hasn't fully played out yet. And so that's what I see you moving towards. And I do see you actually feeling pretty good about yourself. So if this has been painful for you or if this has, you know, hurt you or if it has been disturbing in any way, I see you moving to a place where you're feeling just a lot more confident and independent. Okay, so let's see what is happening here with this other person. Let's see judgment. The Six of Cups and 
the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, see, so that is them. That Eight of Pentacles here. Um, they're definitely putting an effort. It's not like they're not. I definitely feel like they're, you know, trying to make something work here. This is somebody who does want to be with you. This is somebody who feels this deep soul connection with you. But like I said, I feel like they've been going through a crisis and I feel like they're just, they're about to come out of it. Or maybe already have begun coming out of it, but not not fully. However, this definitely is somebody who um, wants this commitment with you. They do want this. Let's see the Ace of Pentacles. And we do get we do have a lot of Pentacles. Some of you might be dealing with an Earth sign. Um, we have the Knight of Cups and we have the Two of Cups. Oh yeah, see, look at this person. This person is coming coming in here. Um, like I said, there's a lot of love. I said that from the very beginning. I feel like this path is opening up. Like this potential is definitely there. I, I actually get that this person is coming in. If there has been some separation or some distancing between the two of you, I see them coming out of this crisis that they're currently going through um, or were going through. And I do see them showing up in some way. It could be something small, it could be something big. But they're definitely opening up in terms of love and you. Let's see the Ten of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers. All right, Gemini also in the picture here. Um, wow, Scorpio, who is this? I don't know what it is that they're dealing with that is so difficult. Um, whatever it is, it's something very toxic. It's something very, um, some kind of an unhealthy situation that, again, it's it's like it's just creating a lot of conflict and it's messing with their with their effort. Not excusing them, but that's just what it is. I see a shift happening here. Um, definitely this person is wanting commitment. Definitely this person is wanting things to be different. Definitely this person is wanting things to be more stable and they're wanting this love connection with you. 100%. All right, so what is that five of cups then and the potential outcome? Let's, let's clarify that. Ten of Swords, the Five of Wands again, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, apparently there is, okay, this is like so, so crazy. That Five of Wands, whatever that Five of Wands is, right, and it's showing up here together with that Ten of Swords, it's coming to an end. It's coming to an end, but whatever that Five of Wands is, right, that conflict, that what I'm talking about with these, if it's other people um, that's messing with this person's effort that is coming to a very clear ending here and that is what is creating that sense of loss that sense of grief some kind of a warning because apparently whatever this is that five of wands um even if it's toxic i mean it's attached to the devil <laughs> um even if it's toxic it's something though that for them it may have had some kind of value at some point or you know there's it's just something difficult, but I mean, it could be anything, I don't know. And I definitely see that there's a lot of movement, like this ending, um, as painful as it is, it's also coming in really fast. And I feel like then, you know, that potential, that pathway is just opening up and there's movement forward here. However, you know, there is going to be a period of mourning or of grief about what that ending with the Five of Wands. All right, Scorpio, let's see. Let's get a final message for you if this resonated. And if it did, please do give me a thumbs up. And let's see. All right, we have cycles. Everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body. Tune into the moon's magic. Yeah, so maybe this was a cycle that was meant to play out for whatever reason, to learn lessons. So yeah, everything has its right time. All right, Scorpio, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.